Hey guys, hope all of you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to touch upon window functions, kind of intermediate concept in SQL. We are going to understand how to leverage row number, rank and dense rank functions and their specific use cases. Let's dive right into the video. As you see here, I have a new database and new table here. The name of the table is called math marks. As you see, some of this data is something we've seen in the past. I've just modified a few things. So we have the ID of the student, the name of the student, the section he belongs to. So he could belong to section A, section B. As I scroll down, there are even people from section C, three different sections, okay? And we have their max marks, mathematics marks, how much they have scored in the exams for each of them, okay? This is the data, it's pretty straightforward. Let's now try to see how exactly we can leverage window functions. Imagine if I ask you to find what is the maximum marks scored but at a section level. So basically I want to see the maximum of marks for section A, section B and section C. We have already seen something like this before. So what we would do is we would just say section comma uh, max of maths marks, right? That's what we would do. And then we would group by section, right? Pretty straightforward way. When you do that in each section, we get the max marks, right? We're able to see the maximum marks. But say, instead of doing this, let me go back to the star again, like select everything. Say, I wanted to know the ranking of each student. So I want to see the name, the max marks, but at the same time, I want to see the ranking of the student in his section, right? So I want to rank all the students per section. In this particular case, we can make use of the window function called rank. Let me show you how it works. So say I want to see the name, okay? Then I also want to see the section. As I told you, I want to see their max marks, that is fine. And then I want to see the rank, but at a section level. How the syntax works here is, so you would first put rank. Rank is a function in SQL. Then you would say over, over is the class. And then within brackets, what we need to do is, so we want to see the ranking of students per section, right? At a section level. So here, after the over class, we need to put something called as partition by, which is another class. And here we want to partition at a section level because we want to see the ranking at a section level. So we would say partition by section, okay? And after that, we want to see them ranked according to max marks, but in descending order, right? So we can use our usual order by clause itself here. So you would say order by max marks descending, okay? Close the bracket. So you would say call the rank function over. So over what you want to perform the operation. Then we want to partition by section level because we want to see the rank at a section level. And then how do we want to see the rank? We want to see it in descending order of max marks. So we use the order by clause, which we have seen before. And I will give it an alias name as ranking, okay? Now when we run this, okay, let me also add student ID just for a reference, right? Now if you see, if I run this query, let's see what happens. So now we see, okay, section A, Aditya had the highest max marks, so we get to give him a ranking one. But then see, Ajish and Sunny, both are in section A, both have equal marks, 86 and 86. So the rank function is giving them the same rank two, which makes sense because they have equal marks. But then the next person, right, Ashish in section A has 72 marks. So he's fourth position in section A according to marks, right? So he's getting rank number four. Let's go down a little bit. Again, in section B, as you see, Akshay is the topper, he is getting rank 1, Sandy is getting rank 2, Johnny is getting rank 3, Jim is getting rank 4, and Arik is getting rank 5, Ajay is getting rank 6. So there is no repetition, so there is no repetition of ranks as well. Then going back to section C now, Anish is the topper, he is getting rank 1, Ajin and Andy are both getting rank 2 because both of them have scored equal number of marks. So very powerful use case of rank here. Okay. There is another function called dense rank as well. I will show you how it works. So I'll put a comma and I'll also add the dense rank here. So more or less the query and the, you know, the syntax will remain the same. Instead of rank, I will just write it as dense rank. Okay. 
and I will give it a name or like alias name I will put it D ranking okay instead to differentiate it and I think there is a comma after that so we need to remove the comma okay let me just scroll to the left now you see so the syntax is more or less the same again you do an over then you partition by section and order by max marks descending as well so when I run this you will see the difference so in rank what happened Ajish and Sunny are the same marks they are getting the same ranks in dense ranking also they are getting the same rank right but what happens is next person Ashish is getting rank 4 here because he has the fourth highest mark in the section but here what's happening is he is getting the third rank so basically in dense ranking once SQL assigns a specific rank it does not skip a number right it goes to the next number which is 3 whereas in in rank or ranking we see that after 2 it skips a number 3 because two people have been assigned rank 2 then it jumps to 4 directly similarly if we go down we will see that you know the ranking is given to for Ajin and Andy dense ranking also works the same way in this case if there was an extra value extra person in this class who had a lesser mark the ranking would have got the value 4 dense ranking would have got the value 3 since dense ranking does not skip numbers as you see after 2 it's giving 3 but here since 2 people got 2 it's skipping a number and giving them 4 right that's the difference between rank and dense rank commonly asked interview question as well let's see just one more window function now so i'll just put row number so you see how it's working so more or less the syntax is going to be the same okay so again it's just going to be row number and you will say over partition by this and then you can give it a name row num right i can give it an alias name and again we have to put the brackets as usual and then the comma here now see what's happening so with row number it doesn't really matter right so so if you see with row number what's happening is even if so first person is getting row number one even if both have same number of marks it's giving a different number so it's basically differentiating and arranging them in the order of the id student id okay so the person with the lowest student id gets row number two next person gets row number three so as you see in row number there is never a repetition in ranking there is repetition but it skips numbers when there are multiple occurrences of the same number and in dense ranking when there are multiple occurrences still it does not skip a number that is the difference between these three concepts hope you like the video do subscribe to the channel for further interesting content like this i'll see you again in other videos till then take care bye